Almost a year ago today, Allison and I launched our bag company, Long Weekend. We launched with two bags and some camera accessories that were inspired by our love for film photography and our love for road tripping. We really wanted these to be the perfect companion bags to really take with you anywhere. And over the past year, it's been such an exciting and rewarding journey to really watch that brand grow and watch these two simple bags that we made end up in people's hands and get taken so many places to accompany people on their photo trips. It really feels surreal when I look at people posting photos with them on Instagram. I can't thank you guys enough for the support on our brand, but today's really exciting because we've been working on some new products for this past year. And in this video, what I wanna do is bring you along to show you how we create images for this bag company. We're gonna be shooting e-commerce photos in the studio, which are kind of like these clean, white backdrop photos that are used online to really show the products. And then later we'll be meeting up with some photographers who we really admire to photograph them wearing the bags and create some lifestyle images that show the products in use. And I think it's just gonna be a really fun, packed video full of a ton of different photos. But before we get into it, let me show you the new products that we have so you know what we'll be photographing. I'm gonna start with my favorite because I'm just so excited about this, but this is our new fanny pack. It's smaller than our first bag, but it's equally versatile. Of course, we also had to make this in black. And very exciting, we have a new colorway, which is our purple. It's very 90s ski wear inspired. I love it. It looks so good. This was Allison's idea, all credit to her. Up next is our point and shoot camera pouch. This is a heavily padded camera pouch that you can fit any point and shoot in, anything from like a Yashica T4 all the way up to a Fuji X100 series camera fits in here. Then finally, we do have a tote. This is our biggest bag yet. It's padded, it's super protective. I use this as kind of like a one night stay bag. If I'm going somewhere for a night, this is the perfect bag to pack or if I'm going anywhere to shoot photos on a set or a job, I throw my RZ in here, I throw a ton of film in here, my flash, everything I need fits in this bag and it's super padded and protective. Let's get to the studio to start shooting photos and I'm gonna show you how I make images of all of these products. As you saw, Mia was shooting the photos. She's much better at this than I would be. And Allison was doing all the styling to make sure that every little detail of the bags looked great in the photos. I'm gonna go. The other tote bag was sick. Like, this is so nice. So, this is the e commerce photos. and. These are really important because these are the only times that people get to clearly see the product. So we definitely want these to be successful because this is how people are gonna see them online before buying them and we really want every detail to be shown. We kind of want some playful photos so people know the scale of the bags. Allison's been killing it at styling these so they actually look good. There's like so many little details in the fabric and stuff. So what I do from flat to stuff Make sure there's a weight in it, so it's not leaning anyway. Some small design choices, like where should the zipper be? Probably be a little bit boring if it was like right in the center. So in the studio, we set up a very simple backdrop with some continuous lighting. And continuous lighting works great for this kind of thing if you're able to darken out the rest of the room and there's no weird ambient light coming in, which was definitely the case here with these incredibly bright aperture lights. Yeah. 
I think the studio session went super well. We got a ton of photos in just a short span of time. They're super versatile and this is really the foundation of our collection of images for this round of products. Up next though, I needed some time behind the camera. So we went out to shoot lifestyle images with some photographers. first photographer we met up with is Brian Chorsky. He's an incredible lifestyle photographer. He shoots for a ton of brands and he's someone I really admire. So I really wanted to photograph him wearing our products. Hey, where's it? Is it sitting yeah. up here? Oh, you're good. Yeah. Oh man, look at that guy. Nice. Is this, a, is this the vibe pouch? It's <laughs> really nice. I like that, that's really nice. Yeah. Looking at you? Yeah, yeah. Reach up at that one above you. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I love these flowers. One of the reasons I really wanted to shoot with Brian was also the fact that he rides a bike around the city a lot. And I thought that would make for some really interesting visuals in these images to have him on his bike wearing our fanny packs, which I think is a perfect application. And we just walked around his neighborhood and photographed him on his bike. <laughs> Just this bag real quick, man. Yeah. Let me see if I can find something here that I like. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll uh I'll do the smile look down. People love that one. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. It's like a new profile. Oh my god, yeah, the dangly wire is busting right now. <laughs> that shit is sicky. Ride through for one? Yeah. Literally right there. Like great. from, should I go start back there? Yeah, and just go right down this crack line. Yeah, baby. Let's see. Yeah, I like a little blur. Yeah. Can we do one more test and then we'll do the real deal? A little closer to the light if you can and to me. Yeah. Coming. Yep. All right, let's do one more. I was really happy with these images of Brian. There was a nice mix of scenery, nice mix of use cases with the bike, with him riding, some motion shots, and I think it worked out really well. Up next, we met up with my friends Linus and Gina to get some photos of them together wearing the bags, and I was really excited about photographing two people together in one scene. Linus has an awesome 98, I think, Jeep XJ. Super cool car, beautiful color, and it made for a nice little prop in the background of some of these outside photos. Ooh, that's cool. Yo, this is awesome. Like, is my face in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just cropped. Wait. What? I'm eating. <laughs> I look delicious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. I know. This is good. That's awesome. Three, two, one.
Do you approve? Yeah. That goes. Awesome. The fake smile. Yeah, the fake smile gets me. Can I get the fake smile again? <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, it's done. You can just never tell. One more. <laughs> oh my God. Too uh, funny. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> there were some great images out of here. It was a really chaotic day. All of this happened over the course of like 10 hours, but I think we got a lot out of it and it was super fun to do. Just for fun, I also wanna show you some photos that my friend Hector shot of Allison and I wearing the bag. I don't have any footage of this, but he did an amazing job and this is just another example of some images for this brand. It's hard for me to even wrap my head around the fact that this kind of thing is even possible. So I just wanna say thank you. I really do appreciate the support, not just if you buy a bag, but I appreciate the support by watching the videos, leaving comments. It really does mean the world to me and I'm super grateful for this opportunity to be able to make this kind of product and share it with you guys. That's gonna wrap it up though. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Peace.